Hi everyone, it's me Kat. Thank you for tuning into my channel. If you're new, welcome. I appreciate you checking me out. If you would, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button now so you can see all my future videos. And if you're returning, welcome back. I truly enjoy your company. Today, I'm going to show you how slutty I get because it's a Sephora haul! Yay! And it's also an Ulta haul, but it doesn't sound as fun as saying a Sephora slut like a Sephora Ulta slut or we'll work on that word anyways let's see what I got you know actually I have a couple things that I got that are I started using the rest of them I haven't used yet hold on all right I got them I have it all here but before I begin I want to go ahead and explain how I save money while I shop okay and I'm gonna be using um, well of course like everyone else I use Ebates um, so I, as much as I can, I try to order online and use Ebates when, um, you know, especially when they have like double points or double percentage. Like I got a, some of the stuff for like, um, 8% back from Ebates from Sephora. Another thing I do to save money on purchases is I buy gift cards and merchandise credit cards off of eBay. E B A Y eBay. Don't be confused with eBates. So what I do is every once in a while I will go through my own personal stuff and I'll sell like clothes or whatever. It's mostly been clothes. I sell a lot of clothes on eBay. And whenever I, you know, whoever buys, it's it's put into my PayPal account and then once I accumulate so many dollars, I try and look up people who are selling merchandise credit or um, gift cards on eBay. So I always look for and I have it um, bookmarked to give me notification when someone is selling some, some gift cards or merchandise credit from Ulta or um, Sephora. So I, I got a lot of questions last time I did a video like this. They're, they were like, well, is it safe? Is the money going to be available? Is it a scam? And no, it's totally fine because you have to remember eBay is a very reputable site. And let's say, for example, I buy a gift card off of a seller and when I receive it, I check the balance and it's zero. I can report that to eBay and they will refund my money and then they'll um, ban that seller or something like that because they will only sell things that are going to pay out or exactly what is explained or described. Um, this is not Craigslist where you're just like meeting some dude at Starbucks and you're exchanging like the card for the cash. This eBay stands behind the sellers that sell and if they do anything other than what they say they're gonna do they're gonna kick them out if that makes sense so anyways I buy a lot of Sephora gift cards and merchandise credit and uh, Ulta gift cards and merchandise credit and what I try to do is let's say the, the face value is hundred dollars I will not purchase anything less than a 10% off so if it's a gift card for hundred dollars I will bid up to $90 and if someone, you know, bids outbids me then I'm I'm okay because I want at least 10%. I want at least 10% um off of the gift cards. Um sometimes I get lucky and I'll get like 25%. It's been a uh, few and far between. It's but I usually get anywhere from 15 10 to 15% off. So that's how I save a little bit of money. Hopefully that makes sense. So let me show you what I got because I bought some gift cards and merchandise credit off of eBay. So I already started using this. I got the Kat Von D um, setting powder brush. I kept looking at it um, at Sephora and it just looked really soft and you know, I was like wondering. So I wanted to go ahead and get it. So I got it. I actually bought this at the store because I bought a merchandise credit that was only good inside the store. So I got that in there. And then I also got this Makeup Forever, I got this online. I got this Makeup Forever like Z palette kind of thing. I liked it because it was big. And I had another one and I also like it because it has like this padding on it which other Z palettes don't have. And I just stuck 
a whole bunch of like I depotted some wet and wild stuff and these are all my ipsy stuff and I put like a little like one of those silicon um, things to keep it dry because I didn't want this to get wet I do live by the beach so I'm always worried about um, moisture and uh, you know ruining my makeup or getting like hard pants I stick it in there so that's a little tip Anyways, let's get into what I got. You guys don't want to see the samples, so let me just throw those out. Okay, so I got some brushes from Ulta, and they were um, all from e.l.f. I was watching an e.l.f. haul from one of my friends here on YouTube, August May. Hi, August. Love your videos. Um, and she had gotten, I think it was, was it? This one? I don't even know if I got the right one, but it was, um, I got, but she got some brushes and I was like, you know, everyone keeps talking about e.l.f. brushes. I want to check them out. So I got the angled eyeliner brush. Can you see that? There's, is there a glare? There you go. I also got the flawless face brush right there. And I got the small tapered brush. And then I got the blending brush. Everyone talks about this. I think, um, Danny from Coffee Break with Danny likes this and also Kimberly Clark and those are a couple of my favorite bigger youtubers um, And a highlighting brush, so I'm excited to try those. I haven't opened it yet I actually just got all these in the mail also from Ulta. I got the Maybelline master bronze There you go. There's a glare. There you go, and I was just watching a video from my friend Karen Harris and she's like it doesn't even show up on her skin and we are brown girls so <sighs> don't disappoint me Maybelline I'm hoping this will work because I don't have any I mean I have one I have a couple I have one true um, drugstore bronzer from Milani and I like it I also use um, a press powder from Wet n Wild, but it's more like a press powder. It's not a true bronze. I just got like a darker shade, and I like that. But I, I kind of wanted like something like this. But looking at it, it kind of looks like, like it would be kind of like my skin tone. So that might not work. But we shall see. That's all from Ulta. I think everything else. Well, let me see. Well, who cares? I mean, we obviously know the drugstore stuff came from Ulta. So all this other stuff could have been from either Sephora or Ulta because it's all like prestige brands. Okay, I got the Becca Sunlit Bronzer in Ipanema Sun. Let's look at it. There you go. I'm excited about that. If you guys follow me on Instagram, I dropped my little Becca highlighter in Opal. Made me sad. So if you're wondering why I'm putting this back in here, it's because I'm, you know... I'm afraid it's gonna break and this is brand Frank and new and then oh my god I just realized I got another one it's the same thing sunlit bronze bronzer and empanema Sun I think what have happened was I think I got one from Sephora and I got one from Ulta and I didn't I forgot I did that oh shit all right well obviously one of them is gonna be returned I also bought another bronzer from NARS, um, and this one is Casino. Let's look at it. Drawn by the name. I love um, Vegas and gambling, so when I saw the word Casino, I was like, oh, maybe this is my jam. There you go. Can't wait to try that. Because I tried that, what was it, Laguna, and that one doesn't show up on my skin at all. So I believe this one's like the shade darker, or maybe even a little bit darker, two shades darker. So hopefully that'll work. Huh. I got two backlight priming filters. So if these were like the sale, like I think this was the gift with purchase. So I think I ordered both of these from Ulta. Shit. I am losing my mind. I got like two. Just move, sorry, I'm um, I'm just moving around the samples, and I just want to like vent and gripe for a second because I like to order online on Sephora, and they always like, oh, three free samples, like choose, right? And if they let you choose, 
why don't they always give you what you choose? Why do they give me stuff that I didn't choose? So I think I wanted like, um, I'm not even, that's not beside the point what I wanted, but I got this, uh, I said I was going to show the samples, but I always get like these little perfume samples and I don't want these perfume samples. I'm like, I kind of have my own samples. So what do you, what do you guys do with these little perfume samples that you will not use? Let me know in the comments because I don't know. I mean, if I've gathered them all up, do you think anyone would be interested in like a giveaway? Would that be like a stupid giveaway? Just like a bunch of little, little perfume samples. Cause I won't use them. I will not use them, but if you guys would be interested in a small giveaway, but like meaning small, like, cause these would be like all samples of perfumes, but it'd probably be like 50 of them. Would that be a good giveaway? Let me know in the comments and maybe I'll do it. The last thing I got was the Urban Decay Naked Skin Shape Shifter. And I um, was dying. I mean, at first I looked at it on the store and I was like, no, I never contour. But then, hold on a second. Sorry about that. I heard my alarm going off in the background so I get to turn it off. I need to get going. So let me hurry up and do this. So I had watched one of my other friends on YouTube Courtney Madewell. Hey girl, how are you doing? She had done a look on this and like kind of a tutorial and I don't, I don't contour. I don't because I don't know how. So she just made it look really easy. And then I was like, oh. all right, I'm going to get it because it has both powder and cream. So maybe if I don't like one, I'll like the other. So this is, so I got it. So thanks Courtney. You made me buy it. YouTube made me buy it. So it has, um, <gasps> it's broken. Shit. I just opened it. Well, that's the powder side. I guess I'm going to have to exchange it because I don't want to press it. That's kind of disappointing. It'd be different if it was like I opened it and played with it already and then, um, you know, dropped it. Here's the cream side. But I just opened it. Bummer. All right, I gotta go, I gotta go exchange it. I gotta return my Becca second one. Oh. Anyways, that's it. I um I also got some um hundred point perks because you know I don't know about you guys um when I get so many points and because it always seems like those bigger ones like the seven fifty or the thousand or the fifteen hundred. They always like they only have like two of them and then I never am ready to get them and I never get it. So I like to blow my little perks on these little ones like this was a hundred point perk. Um, I think this was a hundred point perk or maybe it was a free gift. And I also got this Bite Amuse Bouche lipstick in Beetroot. And I also got this Makeup Forever Aqua color paint. So I just like to get these little ones and then um, I was thinking because I'm having so much fun in YouTube and I love my little community of friends and all you subscribers, I was gonna like do a little giveaway in the next couple months when I have like a nice gift basket full of deluxe samples. And I mostly get them from like my 100 point perks. So I was going to build that. So anyways, let me know in the comments if that's something that you'd be interested in like the um, deluxe size sample giveaway. I was going to make a nice little gift basket for that. And then also let me know if I did like a bunch, like all of my uh, perfume samples, if that would be a good giveaway and if you guys would be interested in it. Anyway, so that's my haul. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully... Um, I'm not too slutty. I don't, I think, you know, I think I am such a Sephora slut because I bought two of the same products and didn't even realize I did. Oh my God, such a slut. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and until next time, take care.